This video will review basic installation and verification procedures for Magnatex MBT Series 300M AIST Mill Duty AC Thruster Shoe Brake. To prepare for installation, first remove Magnatex product manual from the brake. Be sure to verify critical installation dimensions such as wheel drum diameter, wheel center height, and mounting. Attach a strap to the pick points on the brake to prepare for lifting. Do not lift the brake using the pushrod because it may cause damage. Instead, use the lever and the pivot block. While the brake is being lifted, it automatically opens into the correct position for installation. There are two methods of brake installation. Outboard installation requires minimal installation time. The first step is to slide the brake onto the wheel. Loosely hand tighten the four brake mounting bolts. Allow the brake to apply torque to the wheel and center itself by verifying that the reserve stroke limit matches the measurements listed in the product manual. If the reserve stroke does not match the manual specifications, first disengage the plunger from the auto-adjust slot to allow movement. You can adjust the pushrod via the auto-adjust clutch as shown or via the pushrod nut for manually adjusted brakes. Once the pushrod has been adjusted, remeasure the reserve stroke. If the reserve stroke is adequate, then finish tightening the mounting bolts. Activate the auto-adjust plunger. After these steps have been completed for the outboard installation, the brake is ready for use. The second installation method, inline installation, requires disassembly of the brake. Remove the top pivot furthest away from the actuator. After disassembly, install the brake onto the wheel in the mounting position. To begin reassembly of the brake, clean the components and use a locking adhesive per the manual's instructions. Place the locking adhesive in the thread of the pivot block so it does not cause binding of the bearing when reinstalling the bolt. Fasten the pivot bolt and tighten using a torque wrench as described in the manual. Follow these steps to reset up the brake. To set up the auto adjust feature, first disengage the plunger from the auto adjust slot to allow movement. Rotate the auto adjust clutch counterclockwise to pull the two shoes closer to the wheel drum. Once the shoes are touching the wheel, the reserve stroke will begin increasing. Continue until the reserve stroke is adequate. Then activate the auto adjust plunger. To adjust the torque of a brake containing an external torque spring, turn the top torque bolt. When increasing the torque, you may have to readjust and verify the reserve stroke accordingly. Torque is always measured by the top of the block or the bottom of the spring. If adjustments are necessary to the shoe holders, add a flat washer to the bolt followed by the shoe holder, which will have two pins that match up with the shoe. The shoe holder should be followed by another flat washer and a Belleville washer. The Belleville washer should be oriented so that the outer rim is against the flat washer. Add a castle nut after the Belleville washer. Tighten the castle nut until the Belleville washer is completely flat and then loosen by approximately 60 degrees. Drill and lock the hardware using a cotter pin. This is not necessary when replacing the shoes. Instructions for this procedure can be found in the product manual. When adjusting the auto equalization, the back of the shaft, which is not shown here, should be locked with a flat washer, a Belleville washer, and two jam nuts. Add a flat washer to the front of the AE shaft, followed by three Belleville washers oriented in this manner. Place a nut on the shaft after the three Belleville washers. Tighten the nut on the front while holding the back assembly until all Belleville washers are flat then loosen by approximately 180 degrees or half a turn. After the first nut on the front of the shaft is tight, add either a castle nut with a cotter pin or second jamming nut to lock the auto equalization. To begin verification steps for proper operation of the brake, first consult the product manual for the appropriate electrical power connections. Apply power to the brake and allow it to fully extend and release. Be sure the brake has full range of motion and then measure the max stroke. Remove power, allowing the brake to set, and measure the reserve stroke. This should match the measurements in the product manual. It is recommended that you allow the brake to set itself by alternating power on and off. First, engage the auto adjust by activating the plunger into the clutch. Switch off the power to allow the brake to set itself. When power is on and the brake is released, it is important to verify that the brake shoes are not rubbing on the wheel drum, which could cause overheating when the brake is in use. Repeat these steps as necessary until the correct reserve stroke measurement is achieved. 